어, 복음 전할 수 없는 곳에서 복음 전하는 흩어진 제자들은 어, 꼭 기억해야 될 것입니다. There are things that these scattered uh, disciples who uh, are sharing the gospel in the places where they cannot share the gospel must remember. 꼭 찾아야 될게 있어요. And there are things that you need to do. However, there are things that you must absolutely seek out. This is what you must seek out. Absolute missions. 그것도 세상적인 것 안. 돼요. You cannot carry this out with the worldly things. It must be done only by the things of God. So in this message title, you see all the answers. So this is a set of eyes that all these scattered disciples must have. So there are a lot of work that we need to do. When you do a lot of work, what, how should you do it? And also we need to run errands and we need to carry out a lot of things. Most important aspect in the midst of that is also that we need to deliver the message. We also carry out evangelism camps. Not only that we carry out evangelism camps, but we also seek out many disciples. And ultimately, we need to bring about revival and growth and save many people. But as you do the work, this is what you need to see. As you carry out the work, as always, but there's something that you must always see. You must always see God's absolute plan. Even if that you don't find it right away, but you need to align yourself to this direction for your spiritual state to be proper. Then you will not just give a message. You will be able to then deliver God's absolute covenant that God truly desires, that is absolutely needed. You're not just doing the camp. You will see the absolute journey. When we interact with many people, of course, many problems can arise. But we need to know the absolute goal and really tell them what God truly desires. Of course, we do need to receive the answer of much growth and revival. But you must see God's absolute answer that God gives to you, and you must have the set of eyes to see these five things. But because people fail to see this, that's why they were sent to do the missions by force. So it was by force that they were dragged to receive the training, because they had to receive the training. And by force that they had to receive the revenue training. And even by coercion, by God's force that you receive and go through this, it's in and of itself is God's grace, but you should be able to do this voluntarily. And by placing them in each stage, what God ultimately allowed them to see is these five things. Then, for us, just hold on to these five things ahead of time. So this is what's most important for all the scattered disciples, for pastors, and also all the missionaries before you go to all these missions fields. Of course, by chance, you may not be able to see this. But just by the mere fact that you are asking God what these are, you are already in communication with God. So we already have all the answers laid out for us. So it's by force that they were sent as slaves. 
And it's not just by, it's not by as a slave, but they are the nation of slavery. Not only that. And they are people who are stuck in the wilderness. And why was that? It's for them to realize these five things. It continues on with the core message for them to realize these five things. And if you can have this, then all the answers will come in your church in all the aspects of your lives. And then these churches who don't have these church buildings as well as Emmanuel Church that is undergoing the church construction, you must pray for this at all times. What's most important is the first thing, the absolute plan. What is God's absolute plan for me? And after I pass away, what will be God's plan? How old am I and how longer, how much longer will I live? Then the, the rest of the things will follow. And I'm sure it has to be the same with all the other churches. What is God's absolute plan for me to be a church member or church officer of this church? Then, even if I don't write this out on the board, all these answers will just naturally follow. And what is most um, significant answer is the answer that Joseph received prior to going to slavery. Without going into slavery, you can receive all these answers. And with regards to forced training, Moses received this answer. So for us, even without going through this, we can receive the answer. What about number three? The representative figure is Joshua as well as Caleb. So this is the answer that you can see. God's plan is unchanging and without going through all this arduous extreme hardship and difficulty we can receive this God's answer by holding on to these covenants ahead of time. So all of you scattered disciples do the same. It is, always think about how can this gospel enter into this entirety with which I'm connected. And the goal is raising up a disciple. And really quickly, people in America, is there anybody who can go to these 5,000 colleges of America because there is a disciple absolutely prepared to share the gospel? How can we then seek out all the scattered disciples throughout 237 nations? May you ask this. And that's why uh, this asked Arizona University, because they wanted to just educate all the people of the world. That's why they wanted to recruit online, uh, virtually, all these people. Let us pray. Father God, with regards to our, the rest of our lives, may we enjoy the things of yours. And may you grant the strength, your strength to all the scattered disciples. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.